Hey, this is John Young. Today we're going to be answering a question that has popped up an awful lot. And that question is basically, which is going to give me better sound? Which is going to give me more sound? I'm looking at two different sound systems here. Half of a sound system, I'll give you that. I've got the Evolve 50 right here. This is our, our we've done a lot of videos with these. This is basically the mini array system here from Electro Voice. It has your top, it has your 12 inch sub. Now on the on my, my left, your right, this is the ELX system, the ELX 200 system. It is a 10 inch top, so you get a 10 inch powered top here. Then we have, down below, we have a 12 inch powered sub. Now what I'm gonna be doing is uh, gonna give you a variety of different comparison numbers to look at here from today. We're going to be pumping up, we're gonna be putting the same sound through it, and I'm gonna be taking these to the point of where the limit light was turning on. With the electric voice, when it hits that limit light, when it's starting to come on, that does not mean that it's clipping, it does not mean that, it, what it's meaning is that it's a warning light saying, hey, you're getting louder, but we're protecting the speaker. So when you hit that hit that on, it, it's a warning light. It's not the, oh my gosh, I gotta stop right now, this is it. I wanna get us basically to that point, so we have kind of a consistent, uh, as, top end of what we're going to be comparing. Once we get there, you're going to be hearing it, and then we're going to give you a decibel meter reading. We're going to be doing that just in front of the speakers, a couple of feet in front of each of those, and give you an idea of how loud they are at that roughly about two feet in front of them. Then we're going to go down the room a ways to the same spot with both speakers and give you an idea of the throw of these. So we're gonna be going about 30 feet that way and see exactly how it compared to up here. And is there a difference between what the, the mini array can do at 30 feet compared to a traditional uh, two-way top cabinet with a horn? They, that's part of our, our little test. The, another part of it today is going to be, we've got a Jackery here. And the Jackery is a battery powered uh, little little device. This is the, um, the Explorer 1000. It's got 800, this one particular one's got 880 for um, a wattage for capacity. It's gonna handle this, but I'm gonna be able to give you a little idea of how long, when it's at that volume, how long this would be able to run one, one side or the other. And that's gonna, again, more information for you to be able to make a decision on which way is, is the best. Now, for those of you, just before we even start, which one do I use? Yes, I do both. This is my wedding system right here. I run the Evolve 50s as my wedding system because I can take those in and they look really nice. And I sometimes will be using remote speakers in the room to have that kind of a, in, encompassing sound, but they are my main dance speakers at weddings. The ELX 200 system is my bar system. Michael and I have been using these in bars and taking those out. And the idea behind that is that if there somebody spills on the top of these, it's we're all finding good on the very back of the evolves if somebody spill, spills a beer down on the back of those there's components there and i'm not exactly overly happy with that if somebody comes up and, and grabs this and and bends the stand for some reason i'm okay with that if not as as nothing gets broke and nothing gets hurt the evolves it's a little more difficult because it's a one all one piece and if somebody grabs it and tips it and somehow bends that i don't know if they could that would be concerning to me so wetting my bar stuff and that's we've been working really well for us. So let's put some music to these things and get uh, some of our tests going to give you an idea of what they will sound like. <laughs> Okay, there was our unscientific test. Now we had the same source as far as the coming off the uh, the iPad into the mixer and then going out to the speakers. It's being run on the Jackery, and you got to see the difference. And and the, the notice the output. Uh, it was a there was a little bit more draw coming from the the 10 and the 12 than there was from the Evolve. Uh, it was it was pretty close actually. It was like the, when it peaked out, it was pulling about maybe 25 more watts is what was registering on the Jackery, 30 watts, whatever it was. So we were jumping up to just short of 300 watts. Now that was pretty much at the the max or just about max volume uh, with these speakers. So it was being pushed really hard and you might have noticed I had my earplugs in because, well, I'm not going to sit and be able to listen to that for a long time because it was quite uh, substantially loud. Now, comparing the two, when they're right, when you're right there in front of them, 
Now the sound quality is, uh, they both sound, sound really good. I, have to, I, I think if a person were going to give a nod, I would say probably you're going to get a little more clarity and you're going to get more dispersion out of the Evolve uh, just because of the being that, uh, that, that little mini, uh, mini array type system. And of course, you're going to have a little bit different throw when it comes to the uh, two-way. We could see that when we did the 30-foot test. The 30-foot test, you're getting a 98 uh, dB kind of a reading there, and we are bouncing to about 100 dB uh, coming off the the two uh, two speaker system at that, that 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 distance. So you could definitely tell that there was a little bit more. Now, if I would have gone off axis more and probably over to the side instead of straight ahead, we might have had a different story. We might have had the the evolve giving me more sound over here. Whereas the cone on this is going to kind of direct it. So if we were off axis and just a little off to the side where we weren't in the sweet spot of the cone, we probably would have had a substantial uh, uh, adjustment or a difference in volume. So that's really one of the, the differences between using kind of the array technology against uh, a typical loaded, uh, loaded uh, cabin. So we could get a little bit louder. We could get a little bit more of a throw right here. I would, I would say, I think I can safely say that. Um, and this, this is, when I asked the uh, guys at Electro Voice, this is one of the questions I had. Which one of these two systems is going to give me a little bit more? And they said, this system is going to give me, give me the most. So if I would have two tops and two subs, I'm going to get more than I would with two sets of Evolve 50s. If I want coverage and I want to have that, that nice dispersion, the Evolve 50s are going to definitely be get the nut. If I want to have the clarity of vocals, I think the Evolve 50 gives me a better clarity of vocals than the ELX 200. Still very nice, but I think there's a difference in the vocal uh, resonance and such coming from the Evolve 50s to that. The really big area that you can make this sound, and again, I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we use this in bars, where these rock is that, I don't, you see how it is right now? This pole, I don't use it. This is only really used for a couple of things in the studio. Uh, we found out that if we take the two subs and we stack them, and we set them kind of like over here against the wall, and we have speaker stand, speaker stand, and the speakers do it, we have a way better sound. Even if we go speaker stand, speaker stand, and the two subs in the middle, but they're stacked on top of each other. That kind of helps to link them together, and it gives us the sound of an 18 type of a thing. It gives us maybe even a little bit more hit than an 18. But the subs stacked compared to what I have right here for this demonstration really, really brings out the bass to a level that the Evolve 50 certainly can't do, and even even more than what this could do if I would have another set of the speakers here, but I would have it on the tops and the poles and the subs. So you got to kind of play with it a little bit. But I think overall, either option is going to be going to be a great option for a person. It just really kind of depends on where you're going and what you're wanting to do with your sound system. If you got any questions or anything, put those in the comments down below. We'll put links to you can check these out online and see if it's something that will fit into your uh, world as you go into 2024 with your DJs, your DJ business. This is John Young. Thanks for watching.